everybody. Welcome. My name is Miss Morgan, and thank you for joining us for our SLP Summer Library Program, Tales and Tales. Think of all the different animals you know. Every one of them has different looking feet. Chickens don't look like horses, and ducks, their feet don't look like alligators. Today, we're going to talk about why that is. So today, our experiment is animal feet and why they look the way they do. So in your kit, you should have some cardboard, some toe spacers, some balloons, and then from home, you'll need some tape. All right. You'll also need some cushions and chairs and things to make an obstacle course. And then we're gonna use these items to change the shape of your feet and try and go through that obstacle course. All right, are you ready? For the first part of our experiment, you wanna grab your cardboard and your tape. What we're going to do is tape that cardboard to your foot. This will make your foot long and flat. All right, give your obstacle course a try. For this next bit, take your toe spacers and put them upside down over each of your toes to really spread your toes out. Now do your other foot. Try your obstacle course again. What's different from last time? All right, now you'll take your balloons and blow them up. Try to keep them about the same size. What we're going to do is tape it to the bottom of your foot near your heel. All right, now try your obstacle course. Try not to step too hard on those balloons. Don't pop them. But if you do, it's okay. You have extras. You can have fun experimenting with this by trying different balloon sizes. How does it make a difference? All right, for this bit, we're gonna leave those balloons taped to your heels. And we're gonna tape your toes together so that way you have two toes instead of five. You can tape that with two toes in one group and three in the other, or one toe by itself and all the other four into one giant toe. All right, try that obstacle course. Good job. Wasn't that fun? So animals change shape over time through a process called adaptation. The animals that have the most advantageous or helpful traits survive the longest and have more kids. And then over time, the whole species have that advantageous trait. So it's like this. The cardboard, kind of like duck's feet. Ducks didn't always have the webbing between their toes, but the ones that did could swim faster. It seems a little awkward to walk on, but if you put this in the water and splash it, it moves a whole lot faster. So those ducks that had the webbed feet survived longer, had more kids, and now all ducks have webbed toes. Interesting, right? So when you use that balloon, you ended up walking on your toes. A horse only has one toe and they walk on that toe, that hoof. It's actually one single toe. Scientists think this is because it makes them run faster. Think about when you run, run around for a second. Really pay attention to what part of your feet are you pushing off from. You push off from that spot right behind your toes and you push off and it helps you move faster. Well, that's what horses are doing. But they have only one toe because it's less likely to break if you have one really strong toe, like a horse's hoof, versus five more spindly toes like we have. Those might break if we try to run as fast as a horse did. Cows and goats and sheep and pigs, they look pretty similar, right? But they actually have two toes, like how we taped our toes together. So they have two toes for balance. 
Now, we think of horses and sheep and pigs and cows as being farm animals, right? They live out here in Ohio on the farms. But in the wild, horses lived on the plains, very large spaces of flat land. So they had to be able to run over flat surfaces fast. Goats and sheep and pigs, they lived in the mountains. So they had to be able to both run fast so they have those strong toes, but also be able to jump over rocks and climb hills and go up and down in crazy areas because they needed to be able to survive. So even though they look pretty similar with those hooves, they have different types of feet because they needed it to survive where they lived. So when we use our toe spacers to spread out our toes, we made our feet look like chickens, right? They have really spread out toes and claws that never stop growing. So why do they have that? So that way they can scratch at the ground and let those bugs pop up and have more area to scratch so more bugs pop up so they can eat it. Isn't that crazy? They have different looking feet than other different birds. So like ducks, they have these webbed feet. They don't have to scratch at the earth, whereas chickens do, and they have different looking feet. So every animal has unique feet. Here's an interesting one. Cheetahs are the only cats that can't move their paws like this. That's because they move so fast. If they could, it would snap their wrists. So they have to have bones that are locked together so they can't turn their feet. How cool. So that's a different foot than we talked about today. Why don't you look up on your favorite animal and look at their feet? Try to recreate their feet with things that you have around the house and figure out why does it look like that? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you for participating in the Licking County Library Summer Library Program. Continue to read and listen to books and go wild with us this summer while adventuring with your family.